You watching Love and Hip Hop Atlanta season three. Check yourself. You'll be watching us watch the show for the very first time. You'll be getting our natural and honest reaction. We're watching it with you. The scene you're about to see is where Kalina and I go mattress shopping, and she told me all about what she does in that bed. So what are we here for? A king size. So hold like, up, let me do something. What? She's crawling on the bed like a little tiger. You see how I'm looking at her like, hold up, what's happening? I know Kalina likes to look at me. She like, uh. He chewing that damn gum like, that's a bad bitch on that bed. I'm like, Lord Jesus. This is for the living workspace and it got to be comfortable. It's just me and Tony right now, but I got a lot of people that be in and out the bed with us. You understand what I'm saying? Wait, 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 wait. I mean, you know, I got children, and then I got my best friend that comes every now and then. You have your best friend that comes yeah. in the bed with you sometimes. Sometimes? There's a lot going on in that studio over there, Kalina. Tony's cool with this? I mean, you got two big booty chicks walking around this mother like, will you be happy too? You making moves like that? Let's look, let me be clear. Clear this, please, clear this. You your best friend, girl. Carly looked like she was ready to turn up with me. I was like, ooh, Carly, let me find out. She was just like, uh, more information? Feed me, give it to me. And I'm like, that's the Carly I know. It actually was really hot. So you were attracted to your best friend. I think women are beautiful, and she was a beautiful woman while I right. was going through my thing. Honey, I love women. What's up with you, Carly? What you love? We're still best friends. So Tony respects the fact that I have a best friend that holds me down. So, Miss Red, I'm about to have Ashley come down. I'm gonna go out with a fang. Shut us! You are really living a life, Pimpalicious. You gonna make me change my lifestyle in a minute. I make all the girls wanna come on over to the sugar side, baby. I feel like you gotta do what makes you happy. Okay, cause I'm just, I'm Carly, Carly. you I'm wanting Carly. You want it Carly? Right now. I'm loving the turn up right now. Are you living vicariously yes, or you wanna I'm live like, with I think me I one night? I want this type of lifestyle. You want one night? Whoa, Kalina. You look like you want it, little Ja Ja, whoa. You might do what you do, I don't know. The next thing you're about to see is Ashley's first night in Atlanta and Tony trying to get his one, two, three clothes out. I'm glad my baby's here. Me too. She looks very delicious right now. Couldn't wait to see your ass so I could slap it. When she started jiggling like that, I was like, let me just watch it. Ass is bouncing, I had to take a look at it, get close up on it, see what it's doing. Ugh, punch it, ugh, ow, ow. Ah. Ashley looking all on her face, everything crazy. I feel like I'm between, you know, y'all seen those Oreos, two on the outside and the chocolate on the middle? That's what I feel like. I'm like an Oreo cookie right now, just, oof. You can help your boo friend out here in the studio, give her some encouragement with your inspiration and not your... Aspiration? <laughs> <laughs> aspiration is ass and inspiration together. The more ass and titties that are around, the more the inspiration is like, everybody's like free, like you just like in a jungle in, in Africa, and everybody's like, you know, just dancing around a fire. That's what it feel like, aspiration. I'm just trying to figure out, like, if y'all partying and hanging out, where do I fit in that? I'm not gonna lie, something just don't feel all the way right. I see you guys upstairs. Come on, y'all know what it is. Y'all see it. If it was you, what would you do? I kind of told Vic that we were gonna kind of be in all one room. I don't know how you feel about that. Let me know. No. She act like we didn't talk about this. No. You know, that's what we had planned. Just left me hanging. You see how Vic looking at it all? Oh, for real? So you just gonna come in real free. <laughs> just leave my bed, just steal my wife. I'm laughing, cause I know that shit ain't going down like that. I thought I was gonna wake up to two fat booties in the morning like, woo! <laughs> Pump your brakes, Boop. No upstairs for you, Poop. That's what was sold to me. I'm just following through, come on. My follow through's great. Cool I'm just that. saying, it's only fun if the yeah. homie can have something too, right? No. Oh. oh, no? No. <laughs> no. She sold me a dream, and then, you know, I get there, I got a nightmare. Baby, I love you, I do. You know I'm gonna get it down on the floor for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna learn some new moves and everything. Well, Y'all go ahead and do your thing, I'll talk to you later. You don't mind, do you? No. No, you don't mind. You, you take get care of down here, yeah. Y'all just leave me here, you know, with all the dishes by myself. I'll see you in a few. I felt like I got hit with the infamous one, two, the bait and switch. Ashley's coming down, we gonna turn up, turn up, turn up, and then she gets down and the whole script changed and T-Vic get left downstairs doing dishes. Come on, picture that. You gonna close the deal one way or another. 